Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another interesting problem from our student in Mongolia, again dealing with algebra, and again, we're not given the initial amount. So here the problem reads as follows. A group of students put their money together to buy a piano costing between $170 and $195. But two of the students couldn't pay any of the money, so the others paid $1 more each. How many students are there and how, many, and how much did each of them pay? All right, again, it's one of those problems where we don't know the amount that was uh, paid for the piano. But we do know that we started with n number of students and we can assume that they paid an x number of dollars. So let's say that each student had a certain amount of dollars. And so we can say that there were n students and they paid x each, assuming that all of them could pay. And that would then equal to the cost of the piano. But of course, not all of them could pay. Two of them could not pay, so the number of students that were able to pay was two less than the original number. And each of them had to pay one dollar more, so whatever they were going to pay, they each had to ante in an extra dollar, and that equaled the cost of the piano. And of course, the cost is somewhere between $170 and $195. So if both of those equal the cost, what we can then say is that n minus 2 multiplied times x plus 1 must therefore equal times n times x. That gives us an, a, a way to compute the number of students relative to the amount of dollars that we're given. So let's try that. Let's multiply out the, the left side. So we have n times x plus n minus 2x minus 2 is equal to n times x. And of course, we can then eliminate n times x on both sides of the equation, which then means that n is equal to 2x plus 2. And then we can plug that into one of our equations. Which equation should we plug that into? Well, let's try to plug it into this equation right there and see what happens. Okay, that means that we can now write that instead of n, we're going to write 2x plus 2 minus 2 multiplied times, let's see, x plus 1. And that should equal the cost of the piano. All right, so let's do that. So we have uh, 2x, 2 minus 2 is 0, multiplied times x plus 1. That equals the cost of the piano, so we end up with 2x squared plus 2x equals the cost of the piano. All right, let's get rid of those twos. Let's divide both sides by 2, which means that x squared plus x must equal half the cost of the piano. And since the cost is between 170 and 195, that means that x squared plus x must be equal to some number between half of 170, which is 85, and half of 195, which would be, let's say 196 would be about 98, or 97.5. So I'll just round it up to 98. So x squared plus x must be somewhere between 85 and 98. And we have x squared, for example, if x was 10, 10 squared would be 100, plus 10 would be 110. So, for example, uh, 10 squared plus 10 is equal to uh, 100 plus 10, which is 110, which doesn't fall within that range. So 10 could not be the proper value for x. How about 9? 9 squared plus 9, that's 81 plus 9, which is 90. So that does fall within that range, so 9 for x would be a good value. And what about 8? 8 squared plus 8, well that's 64 plus 8, which is 72, that falls below the range. So the only value that makes sense is when x is equal to 9. All right, if x is equal to 9, and we have an equation that gives us n, we say that n, which is equal to 2x, plus 2, which is equal to 2 times 9, plus 2, which is equal to 18, plus 2, which is equal to 20. So what that tells us is that originally there were 20 students, and each of them was supposed to put in 
that would then add up to $180 to buy the piano. So that means that the original cost of the piano would be $180 and there were 20 students each paying $9. So we have 20 times 9 equals 180. Now let's see if that works for 2 less paying 1 more. So now we have n minus 2 times x plus 1 and n was 20 so now we have 20 minus 2 each paying x which is 9 plus 1 so that would be 18 times 10 which is also 180 so you can see that you get the same value if you had 20 students paying $9 or 18 students paying $10 you end up with the same money of $180 for the piano and so the answer is Originally, there were 20 students, and they're each going to pay $9, so we end up with 18 students, each paying $10, and that is how it's done. Why don't you just substitute that into and into the first equation? It would be so much easier. Which one? Oh, well, that's essentially what we did I right know. here. No, no, the, the, n, the n times x. You have n, and you substitute it into the more difficult equation. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could have substituted in the top equation. Yeah, make life a little easier. <laughs> yeah, but we're not into making life easier. No, we are. <laughs> so let's see here. So we had 2x plus 2, so 2x plus 2 multiplied times x equals the cost. And so that would be 2x squared plus 2x. Oh yeah, we would have gotten the right, the right equation right away. I guess, <laughs> I guess I could have put it in the top equation. I don't know why I put it in the bottom it's equation. It's definitely easier. Yes, and it gives, you, it gives you the same answer, doesn't it? I didn't do it the easiest way. You never did it the easiest way. <laughs> All right. There you go. Another interesting problem from Mongolia.